Hey, stay tuned. We're going to talk about how to get your content to be responsive. talk to me about the fact that you might go out and get you a responsive theme, but whenever you want to get creative and get your content in a page or a post and you want to have certain columns of content, sometimes you're running into typing the old school way of setting a table in there and it doesn't respond uh, with your responsive website, uh, with your theme. So what we want to do today is walk you through exactly what plugin to use to cause your content to be responsive and stack correctly. Here we go. All right, everyone, so I'm gonna walk you through it and you're gonna be blown away by how cool this is. Um, seriously, one of the biggest problems I have is clients calling us up saying, I really wanna do something cool with columns. How do I do it? Here you go. Uh, I wanna introduce you to a plugin called Advanced WP Columns. Shrink myself down here, move me over there, there you go. All right, so WP uh, Advanced WP Columns is the plugin that I've found that I think is spectacular, super easy to use, and it's got a really helpful video here to walk you through exactly how it's done, but I'll show you here in real time. Here we go. So I uh, want us to go to plugins, uh, your dashboard, you're gonna go install plugins, I'm gonna click add new. Over here in the little search bar area, I'm just gonna type in advanced WP columns, search, and it's gonna bring me to here. Uh, I'm going to click install now and okay, right? What that does is goes to the repository, WordPress, grabs that information and throws it on your FTP into your server and has it available for you now. Clicking activate plugin now activates that plugin and makes it available to me here. Uh, so now when I go into all pages, I can go use their plugin. So I'm gonna go into a draft page that I've been playing around here and I've already got some content sitting here. Maybe instead of these, call, uh, these topics being stacked on top of each other like this, I'm gonna want them to be like a newspaper setup, kind of side by side. So I'm gonna show you how this is done. I'm gonna grab all of this content that I've got here in this space, da, 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 grab it and put it on my clipboard, right? So you can right mouse click, put it on your clipboard. Um, I use uh, Command X on an Apple to, uh, to grab that information there. And now we've got this little icon sitting here from the plugin. Clicking on that little icon, brings me to this cool uh, WYSIWYG type thing, it's super cool. I'm gonna add, drag. This allows you to set the columns to be any width you love, which is why I love this plugin, because sometimes you want a one-third, two-third layout, or you want four columns. You wanna get really creative with how that looks in this space. This allows you to do it without knowing any code, amazing. So I'm gonna go and drag this to about what I see visibly as being uh, one column there. I'm gonna add another column here, open this up and say I want this space to be like this, uh, maybe a little bit more padding between the two. I'm going to paste in uh, my content um, and then I'm gonna grab this other bit here that I want to be on the second side over here and just click and paste. And now there's uh, the judo topics and here is this header over here. Um, for that space and I'm gonna click add columns. Check that out, how groovy cool is this, right? So I'm going to preview this page. The front side of my website, run over here and preview it, clicking here. Now, there they are, beautifully listed as one column here on the left side, one column on the right side, all the way down the page. How beautiful is that? This is the cool part. Here we go, I'm gonna ch check this out. I'm gonna shrink the screen down and go responsive mode. Did you see that? Shrink, 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 and then they stack. See that? Vroom, and they stack. And now the judo topics is sitting perfectly underneath uh, my header title right there. How brilliant is this? I love it, I love it, I love it. That's super simple to use. Get creative. Again, you can play around with um, adding in, you know, if you wanted three columns, you would just size them like this and do uh, three visibly equal columns. Da, 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 da. There you go. Make that column here. There you go. Add another column that easy to do. Play around, install the plugin, have fun, check it out, uh, put, a, put a response in, the, in the, the, the comment area on this video and let us know what you think about it. 
All right, so that's the plugin I suggest. I'm sure there's plenty of other plugins to use out there. Get creative, go find the one that works best for you. But if you have any other questions or come across any sort of other issue that you run into with responsive design or WordPress in general, be sure to tweet us. We'd love to hear your questions and try to answer them in the next video every Wednesday. Subscribe to the channel so that you're sure to catch the next video. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye, y'all. Hey, everybody. Videos are a great resource for learning, but there's nothing better than learning in person from WordPress experts. We offer a beginner's course and an advanced track that can teach you everything you want to know about WordPress. Our classes start soon, so head over to webtegrity.com and register today.